hope your day is going wonderful. I hope it's sunshiny and I hope you're in a crafty mood. Today we're going to create two cards. We're using two Spellbinders die sets. This is kind of like classical uh, Spellbinders, I would say. we It's part of their Timeless collection. Um, we have the Timeless 5x7 card front. This, is, this creates a beautiful lacy look. And even though it's 5x7, and I think it'll look amazing on a 5x7 card. Actually, my card today could just be transferred to a 5x7 if you wanted. Um, but I want to shrink it. <laughs> I'm going to try to shrink it to an A2 size. So this is the Timeless 5x7 card front. It's a six piece set and then I also have the Timeless Hearts border, which could be used for a five by seven also because of the length. Um, but we're gonna put this on a A2 card also. We're gonna start by doing some die cutting. Now I picked out a color palette and we're actually gonna throw in a brown too. Kind of um, a different color palette, but I thought they would all, I, I thought all these goes really good together. <laughs> Let me know what you think down below. Um, this is spell by all of these are Spellbinders color essential card stock. So we have Waterfall, we have Chamomile, we have Barely Peach, and then this is Timber. Okay, we're going to do some die cutting. I have my Lacey Hearts border here, okay? I'm going to die cut this out three times. This is going to just give me a really delicate Lacey border. It's hard to kind of tell with the pattern, but it, um, I'll die cut this out three times with white cardstock. And then I'm going to create backgrounds for this with colored cardstock. I have three different colors. Again, I have waterfall, chamomile, and barely peach. So these are going to be a background we're creating with this. This die set is two pieces. So you could do a top border, bottom border, or both. And I've chose both for my card today. Okay, and then I'm bringing in a flower and I'm using the Sunflower Serenade um, die set. This creates a beautiful sunflower but I've created a daisy with this. I'll link the video at the end. It's such a, it's such a pretty die set um, and I love the flower in here. I'm going to turn the sunflower into a Gerber daisy. So for this card we're going to use this flower on both of my cards but for this card we're going to create a white daisy with brown leaves. I know it sounds weird, but I think it's going to go really pretty um, with this lacy look, okay? So bear with me. The sunflower has two flower centerpieces. This one here, I'm going to die cut out with the same timber card stock. And then the dotted detail piece, I want to die cut out with my chamomile, okay? I have a little bit of die cutting to do. I'm going to run everything through my die cut machine, and then we'll build our card. Everything is die cut. First, what we're going to do is take our lacy layer. Isn't that so pretty? I'm going to go ahead and layer that on my background. You see how it lines up beautifully, leaves a little bit of a border. We're going to do that to all three of these pieces. Now, you could use glue if you wanted, but I'm going to make this a little bit faster. And I'm using some micro dot sheets. These are from Simon Says Stamp. There are little dots of adhesive, and what it does is kind of creates like a sticker with the background. Um, just going to release it all. We have quite a bit to do here. I'm just going to tack these down. This one got cut off, but that we're going to cut it off anyway, so I wasn't worried about it. Okay, I'm going to re replace the backing, and then I'm just going to use my bone folder and go over it really kind of firmly. You could actually use a brayer with this also. I just want those dots to adhere to that lacy edge. Way quicker than glue and I think it's just less messier than glue too. And you can see now it's a sticker. I'm going to go ahead and tack these down. Okay, I'll do our next one. Beautiful. And then we'll do our third one. Way less messy than glue. Okay, and they're adhered down really nicely. 
Okay, let's go ahead and put this to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on my micro dot sheet. We're actually going to use this for our next card too. Okay, let's go ahead and build our flower. I like to mention, so I'm going to bring in a foam square, tack that in the middle, and then I'm going to add my second layer, and I like to offset it. Make it real full. And then for our sunflower center, I actually want to bring back that, that sheet here. I'm going to add some of those micro dots behind this flower center. And then we'll tack this on that brown center. Okay, and then I'll add some more. I'm going to add some more micro dots. And then this is going to go right in the center of this flower. Pretty simple flower to make, but it's so, so pretty because of all the etched detail. Okay, we have some leaves. I'm not going to add these just yet, but I do want to flip them over and put some small foam squares behind them. We're going to tuck these under the flower, but um, I want to actually adhere my my borders to my guard, card base. For this card, it's going to be a landscape side folding card. Okay, I am going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to round this upper right corner. And then we are going to arrange these here. I'm going to arrange these on my background. We're going to go ahead and add our third layer. And you'll notice I offset it just a little bit. I don't want those layers to line up. This would be, I want to create, kind of do a, kind of just offsetting it a little bit. Such a pretty lacy pattern. Okay, we have our flower. And I am going to put a large foam square behind this flower fluff up those flower petals, and I'm going to add it right there. Okay, and then we're going to add our brown leaves. And I don't know what it is, but I just love this color combination. I suggest mixing and matching colors because you never know what you'll come up with. I'm going to finish this card. We're almost done. I'm just going to finish this card with a few of my Spectrum AB Gems kind of adjusted those leaves just a little bit but that will finish off my card and there's room here if I want to stamp a greeting if I were to stamp a greeting I think I would go with brown ink and just stamp maybe a straight um, block lettered greeting I think that would be pretty here but that will finish my first card let's jump into our next card we're going to do some more die cutting okay for my next card I have everything die cut and I have a friend who's shaking the camera Hi, he's the sweetheart. Hi, buddy. This is Princeton. He doesn't get on camera very often. He has a little white tail. <laughs> he's a re he's a talker. He's a sweetheart. Huh, buddy? Princeton. He likes to talk. Maybe not just today. And you can see I already created my flower. My sunflower I created with the same waterfall cardstock I cut out too. And we're going to create the same flower we did for our first card, but just with a different, um, different petals. Okay, so we have a waterfall card front. Wonderful. And then I have a slightly smaller panel that we're going to mat on this. This measures four inches by five and a quarter. Now, I'm, this is where I'm going to shrink my five by seven. If you don't want to shrink it, I think if you were just to layer it and then trim it, I think that would look pretty too. But I think I want some full edges. Let's see. I'm going to trim it right down the middle. Okay. 
And it, you know, it looks like these little two little scallop pieces. Let me show you up close. It looks like if I overlap. I can overlap these pieces here. Let me scoot it over so you, you can see it's the same thing. I'm going to overlap these. So I'm going to glue those together. I'm just going to flip it around and add some glue. Use those scrolls kind of as a guide. You can see on top they lined up here. It does look a little busy here, but I think I can still get away with it. Okay, I'll do the same thing with this one. Cut it right down the middle. I'll add glue behind one side. I'm going to glue this down. You guys are probably going to hear some lawnmowers. <laughs> um, I try to do my videos when the sun's out the brightest and that's so that just happens to be in the afternoon. Well the afternoon everybody's wanting to mow their lawns. So, so this summer, look out for some lawn mowers in the background. <laughs> okay, I think this looks great. Let's see how this overlaps on, on here. Okay. And I'm thinking it's working out really good. Now I'm going to I'm going to take some glue. You see this dot here? You see a big dot, little dot. The little dot will line up with this little dot. And that's what I want to do. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here and I'll tack this down, lining up those dots. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Add some glue behind here, and I'll line up these dots. And it kind of worked out really good. Kind of turned this into like a little flower. It's going to work perfectly for that panel. I just love that. So this is a good thing. I'm going to bring in my micro dot sheet, and then I'm going to add some adhesive here. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. I'm going to tack this down to my Barely Peach cardstock. Kind of looks like this would make a beautiful wedding invitation. Look how pretty that is with just a couple extra snips on an A2. I think that's wonderful. I'm going to use my glue. And I'm going to adhere it to the front of my card. Okay, and then I die cut out the circle here with white cardstock. It does have some dotted detail on there. And then this lacy piece I die cut out with chamomile, which is the inside. This also has a die that will cut out the inside. So if you want to do layering, you can. And then we're going to add our flower right over here in the middle. We're going to do the same thing that we did with our first flower. You could actually ink the edges if you wanted to. So pretty. I'm going to remove the release paper off of this foam square and we'll tack this down right in the middle. And then I'm going to add some small foam squares to my leaves and we'll do a little tucking with these. Okay, the leaves are just not flowing right for me, um, especially the really curved one. So I went ahead and die cut out a couple more of the wider ones. I'm going to take this one off too. And I'm going to add the shorter, wider leaves. Okay, and I think I'm going to do the same thing to this top leaf. You see how it curves a little bit? It's throwing me off. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to add one of these wider leaves to the very top. Okay, I think that looks a lot better. So I just switched out one of those curvy leaves for one of the wider ones on both of them. <laughs> okay, for this card, I'm going to bring in a little more sparkle using the same 
Spectrum AB Gems. That will finish off my card projects today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.